cultural heritage items from Mesopotamia, a historical region that encompasses present-day Iraq and some of its neighboring countries, is being showcased at the National Museum of Korea. Ranging from written records to seals and sculptures, the artifacts provide a rare glimpse into the ancient civilization. Ishihu reports. Two prowling lions made of colorful individual bricks lined the walls. The glazed brick panels represent two of some 120 lions that served as protective symbols of the goddess Ishtar in Babylon around 2,600 years ago. Weathered away over thousands of years but still maintaining its shape, ancient artifacts from the early civilizations of Mesopotamia are currently on view at the National Museum of Korea. The exhibition titled Mesopotamia Great Cultural Innovations is the first by the museum showcasing cultural heritage from the region. The selection was brought to Korea from the Metropolitan Museum of Art in the United States. A total of 66 artifacts demonstrate the breadth of Mesopotamian craftsmanship and style from the 4th millennium to the 1st millennium BCE. It is divided into three sections, cultural innovations, art and identity, and art in the age of empires. The first section looks at the invention of an early writing system known as cuneiform. This exhibition introduces writing records that show how people back then interacted and communicated with each other. A pillow-shaped clay tablet shows these early Sumerian cuneiform signs. Pressed into the tablet are numerical signs and pictographs to show quantities of barley groats and malt. Another artifact is a fragment of a medical text which prescribes treatments for various medical conditions. The second and third sections of the exhibition look at how identity was expressed in the art of ancient Mesopotamia as well as its production of luxury goods and architectural achievements. The portraits of rulers characterize attributes associated with kingship, wide eyes and full beards. One exhibit is the head of a ruler, a life-size representation of man likely commissioned by a ruler or someone of elite status. Also in display are seals carved with designs of the particular god worshipped by the seal owner and inscriptions indicating identity. The exhibition will run until January 2024. Admission is free of charge. Yi Si-hu, Arirang News.